the Dessau Wurlitz Garden Realm, also known as the English Grounds of Wurlitz, is one of the first and largest English parks in Germany and continental Europe. It was created in the late 18th century under the regency of Duke Leopold III of Van Hall Dessau, returning from a grand tour to Italy, the Netherlands, England, France and Switzerland he had undertaken together with his friend architect Friedrich Wilhelm von Erdmannsdorf, both strongly influenced by the ideals of the Enlightenment. They aimed to overcome the formal garden concept of the Baroque era in favour of a naturalistic landscape as they had seen at our head gardens and Ermenonville. Today the cultural landscape of Dessau Wurlitz encompasses an area of 142 square kilometers within the Middle Elbe Biosphere Reserve in the German state of Saxony and Holt. Orignanbaum, the gardens had its origin in the 17th century, when the marriage of Leopold's great-grandfather Prince John George II second of Van Hall Dessau to the Dutch Princess Henriette Katharina, daughter of Prince Frederick Henry of Orange, in 1659 brought a team of engineers and architects from the Low Countries under the supervision of architect Cornelis Rijkwerd to lay out the town, the palace and a Baroque garden in the former settlement of Nischwitz, which was renamed Oranienbaum in 1673. The Dutch influence remained prevalent in the Principality of Van Hall Dessau for many decades. Oranienbaum Palace was finished in 1683 as the summer residence of Henriette Katharina, where she retired after the death of her husband in 1693. The rich furnishing includes leather wallpapers and a dining room equipped with Delft tiles. From 1780 on Duke Leopold III had the palace and the park rebuilt in a Chinese style, according to the theories of Sir William Chambers, with several arch bridges, a tea house and a pagoda. In 1811, the orangey was built with 175 meters in length, one of the largest in Europe which still serves to protect a wide collection of citrus plants. Oranienbaum Palace together with the park and the geometrical settlement conception forms one of the few original Dutch Baroque town layouts in Germany. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, Princess of Orange Nassau, inspected the restoration works on March 3, 2004. Wurlitz a Park. The central Wurlitz a Park lies adjacent to the small town of Wurlitz at an Anna branch of the Elbe River, making it rich in water and diversity. It was laid out between 1769 and 1773 as one of the first English gardens on the continent. According to the ideals of Duke Leopold III, the park would also serve as an educational institution in architecture, gardening and agriculture culture. Therefore large parts were open to the public from the beginning. Most buildings were designed by Erdmannsdorf, while the gardens were laid out by Johann Friedrich Isebeck, a garden architect who was indebted to such British antecedents as Claremont, our hidden Stowe landscape garden. The gardens are protected from floods of the Elbe River in the north by a dam which is also a belt walk offering numerous views along the park's sight lines. Wurlitz Palace finished in 1773, residence of Duke Leopold and his wife Louise of Brandenburg Schwedt, was the first neoclassical building in present-day Germany. The palace and its interior with valuable cabinets from the studio of Abraham and David Rundgren as well as a large collection of Wedgwood porcelain, were publicly accessible. Louise had her private home in the adjacent Grare's house. At the eastern rim of the palace's garden stands the Wurlitz Synagogue built in 1790 as a rotunda modelled after the ancient temple of Vesta in Tivoli, Italy. The building expressing Leopold's religious tolerance was saved from demolition in the 1938 Kristallnacht pogrom by the custodian of the park, who thereupon lost his employment.
the neo-Gothic St. Peter's Church in the west with its 66 metres tall steeple was finished in 1809. The philosophy of Jean-Jacques Rousseau and the aesthetic of Johann Joachim Winkelmann underlie the design of the park and will lead to creation of follies. Rousseau saw in agriculture the basis of everyday life and pointed out to educational functions of the natural landscape. Unsurprisingly, the most elegant landscape in the area is Rousseau Island in Oymark's garden, scored to imitate the island at Ermeninville Park where the philosopher was buried. An island on the artificial whirl its lake features Europe's only artificial volcano. When Leopold III went on her tour of Europe in the 1760s, he was captivated by a trip to Naples in which he saw a smouldering Mount Vesuvius and would have heard about the newly discovered town of Pompeii. Twenty-two years later, the German royal set about bringing a piece of Naples to Germany. He had his architect build the brick in a building nearly five stories high and cover it with local boulders. At the top, a hollow cone was made and contained a high chamber, complete with three fireplaces on a roof that contained an artificial crater that could be filled with water. He then then constructed a lake around the volcano and invited his friends to watch an eruption. Only contemporary accounts detail what the 18th century artificial eruption would have been like, but the practice still takes place today, complete with modern effects. After the island was restored to its past glory, minor structures of the garden realm, stretching for some 25 kilometers, had far reaching ramifications in architecture of Central Europe. The Gothic House, started by Edmund Storff in 1774, modelled on the villa of Horace Walpole at Strawberry Hill, was one of the first neo-Gothic structures on the continent. The park also features replicas of Roman temples, including the Pantheon built in 1795. In the early years of the following century, the landscape was enriched with the neo-Gothic churches in the neighboring villages of Ryazik and Varkarod. The grounds, which had been divided into four parts since the constructions of a railway line and the Bundys Autobahn 9 in the 1930s, were designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2000. ICOMOS, however, noted that the overall structure of the landscape has undergone a good deal of deterioration. Currently, a major road passes only meters away from Rousseau Island. Other, further structures of the garden realm include Louisium Castle, located in the Waldersee district of Dessau, was a gift from Duke Leopold III to his wife Louise. It was built from 1774 in a plain neoclassical style as a country home according to plans by Erdmannsdorf with adjacent gardens, pastures and a stud farm. Leopold died at the castle on August 9, 1817 from the consequences of a riding accident. John George, a younger brother of Duke Leopold III, had the Georgium Castle erected from 1780 by Erdmann's door. Located in a riparian woodland north of Dessau, the palace features an English garden with several monuments. Today the Georgium hosts the Anhalt collection of art, including works by all Brecht Dura, especially an old master print of his Melancholy I and Lucas Cranach the Elder. Mosaikau Castle in the west of Dessau is one of the few Rococo palaces in central Germany, resembling Sanzuchi at Potsdam, which had been designed by Georg Wenzelslaus von Nobel's door. It was built between 1752 and 1757 for Anna Wilhelmina van Holt the daughter of Prince Leopold I. The ensemble includes an orangey and an art collection of Flemish Baroque painting, stemming from Duke John George's two union with the House of Orange Nassau that features works by Peter Paul Rubens and Anthony van Dyck. 
Grace Kunau Castle marks the western end of the Garden Realm. It was built in 1784. Albert of Van Hall Dessau, a younger brother of Duke Leopold III, at Kunau Lake. The park includes several artificial islands, fruit tree orchards, and a vineyard. Today, the castle is the seat of the culture Stiftung Dessau Wurlitz, the trust running the park. Furthermore, the Garden Realm encompasses the Liner Berg Forester's Lodge, built in 1830, now a restaurant near the Elbe Cycle Route, and the Sieglitzerberg Forest Park laid out in 1777. To Italy, the Netherlands, England, France and Switzerland he had undertaken together with his friend architect Friedrich Wilhelm von Erdmannsdorf, both strongly influenced by the ideals of the Enlightenment. They aimed to overcome the formal garden concept of the Baroque era in favor of a natural. The gardens had its origin in the 17th century, when the marriage of Leopold's great-grandfather Prince John George II of Van Hall Dessau to the Dutch Princess Henriette Katharina, daughter of Prince Frederick Henry of Orange, in 1659 brought a team of engineers and architects from the Low Countries under the supervision of architect Cornelis Rijkwer to lay out the town, the palace and a Baroque garden in the former settlement of Nischwitz, which was renamed Oranienbaum in 1673. The Dutch influence remained prevalent in the Principality of Van Hall Dessalistic landscape as they had seen at Our Head Gardens and Ermenenville. Today the cultural landscape of Dessau Wurlitz encompasses an area of 142 square kilometers within the Middle Elbe Biosphere Reserve in the German state of Saxony and Holt, Oranienbaum. The Dessau Wurlitz Garden Realm, also known as the English Grounds of Wurlitz, is one of the first and largest English parks in Germany and continental Europe. It was created in the late 18th century under the regency of Duke Leopold III of Van Hall Dessau, returning from a grand tour.